So today, I'd like to delve into a little bit of trail running safety. Let's crack on. Hey guys, so those of you who live visiting for the first time, or even if you've been here before but you haven't subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and I will keep you up to date for any future releases. Okay, so today I'm going to chat a little chat to you about trail running safety. Okay, so the primary thing for me is really if you can, if you can run with a group or with another partner with somebody from your household then you know please do so that's probably one of the safest ways out there but, but like me many times many of my miles are done on my own so I tend to get out early morning so not a lot of people like to run the same time as I do so yeah so if you can run with people then do so that's 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 probably a good one so on the trails I would say, definitely say there's an app out there called What Three Words. So if you can download that, it can then pinpoint you within three meters. So if you have a fall and you're still conscious, you can sort of um, plug that into your phone and uh, communicate for help. Um, so while, while I'm on that for downloading the What Three Words app, it is also key to have a fully charged mobile phone. If you can't do that, um, then take a charger bank out with you or if you're going for a longer run then then obviously that charger bank will come in handy for your for your watch for your phone uh, and whatever other devices you want out there but make sure you take out the cables with you to charge them so sometimes what I will do as well for added safety is I'll take my my dogs with me or dog whichever one it's about 20 how far I go my older dog can't really keep up more than about 5k so if it's only a short run then I'll bring her as well but the uh, the younger dog he'll just keep running and running so I'll bring him with me and with that the added safety of that as well so if there is any cattle or wild animals on route more often than not the dog will sort of see the see that off and similarly if you're up on the trails on your own um, you know there are some crazy people around runners have been attacked in the past so if you've got a dog with you, you are less likely to uh, to get attacked because the dog will see any assailant off as well. So that's pretty pretty key. Um, and so be aware of your route as well, guys. So it's always good to know if the route you're going to take. If there are going to be wild animals, like you in the UK, we've probably you know we'll have wild horses. We may have some cows, cattle on on route, uh, geese. You know, and in the summer you may have a snake. But if you leave it alone, it'll leave you alone. But if you are in other parts of the world, you know, you could be running in Africa, you could be running in America somewhere, so you could have cougars, you know, lions, cheetahs, elephants, depends on where you are in the world, you know. You could, so obviously be aware of what you can encounter en route. So that, now I've said what you, uh, you envisage what you can encounter, it's always good to plan a route as well, guys. The uh, Usually a few days before or even the night before, um, I will sit down, i got a Garmin, so I will use the Garmin Connect app and I will plan my route. If it's a route that I've travelled many, many times, then obviously I'll just go out and run that route. But it's key to plan it because then you can you can see if there's any hiccups on, on, on route as well. The Garmin Connect app, it shows you um, a satellite route, or I'll also give you a common common run route as well, so you'll be able to sort of zoom in a bit and see if there is any hazards. So that's that's it for plan the route. Um, what else? What else? What else? Trainers, guys. Um, if if you spend your money on nothing else, I would definitely say get a decent pair of trainers. Um, I've got quite a few in rotation, so if it's on really boggy, really horrible, mucky routes. Um, and I know I'm going to perhaps do a little bit of downhill on that then I will use my last sport Sportiva Mutants I'll roll those out because uh, I've got some, some wicked grip on them however I have blown a hole in them which I'm a bit disappointed in but they're still usable and if I was really that bothered I would sew them up but I only use them on short, short blasts to be fair 
Um, yeah, and the other pairs of trainers I've got, uh, for longer distance, I have got the Speed Goat 3s. Um, I haven't upgraded to the 4s yet because my 3s are still pretty decent. Um, although I did notice a little bit of wear on the back heel. So maybe spring I'll be thinking about replacing those. I also have the Hawker or Hoka only only Hawker 1 1 however you want to say it. I have the Ch Challenger ATR 5s and they are an all terrain uh, uh, sort of trail and uh, off trail sort of, sort of uh, trainer. You can use them on tarmac, um, you can also use them on the trail. Uh, they got about 4 mil four mil lugs on them so they're pretty good across um, the sort of the train that we're on today as you can see but if they're super boggy I wouldn't use them and I've also um, upgraded to a pair of the the Hawker Challenger ATR6 which have just been released in the last few months so I've got those to break in through the through the spring and if you're running at night I would definitely go out and get yourself a decent head torch um, one which you know which you know is going to last for the, for the length of time you're going to be out if it's not then get yourself two pack it, uh, pack it into your pack and away you go um, I bought a cheap one from Lidl's thinking it would be rubbish and I just thought yeah I'll keep that as a spare just, just uh, to see how I get on and I'm actually pretty rep uh, impressed with it. it it lasts for about an hour, hour and a half on, with a beam and the beam is pretty strong as well and it's rechargeable so I was, I was super impressed with that one however I have got a a really good one which is uh, one from Unilight I can't remember what the what the uh, details are of it but I'll put some details below uh, so I've got one which will last me for about three hours and it's a dimmer switch as well so you can have it on as uh, bright or as dim as you want and I also got another uh, Unilight uh, which only lasts for one hour, hour and a half so yeah, get yourself a decent head torch so something I forgot to add guys is Sometimes I'll bring a pack out with me with water in and extra food depending on how long how far I'm going um, so I'll either bring out some Tailwind which is a water, so water based solution with powder pop it in and it gives you about 200 calories that lasts you for about an hour so depending on how far I'm going I may pack a couple of extra of these or I'll have some solid food just to nibble on as I'm going if I'm going any, anywhere over two, two hours I will definitely pack more more stuff in there. Something else I, I will pack if I take the pack, it's in there all the time. It's just some dry socks, just for, for my own comfort. I've never used them yet, but there's nothing nicer that if you get caught out, I like to slip a nice uh, 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 sort of dry pair of socks on. And the last thing which I put in there, which I find really, really handy, um, is a first aid kit. I've had to use it once. Gladly it wasn't on me, it was on someone else. But all it was was really just to uh, clean up someone's, uh, they went down hard on their knees, so they had a few stones in the knees, so I removed the stones and patched them up and let them crack on. So that's about it really. If you haven't subscribed guys, please do so and ding the bell. Like I said, it massively helps me out on the channel. I'll see you next time.